Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shaq here, and welcome back to Empire at War. Today, I've got a special guest, the man who's working on this actual mod that we're checking out. Uh, I was in the mood for some Clone Wars, and I'm so happy that you were down to play some multiplayer. How are you doing, Corey? I'm good. Uh, you're on a nice early morning Empire at War recording session. Right? Oh, no. I'm almost out of coffee, too. Well, we're playing a new version that you and your team have been working on. Uh, you want to tell us about a little bit about the mod and then what we're going to be doing today. Right, so this is a currently unreleased version of the mod. Uh, we haven't released anything for this mod yet, but we're going to be taking an early look at the first version here where uh, it's all still in progress, but we've made a lot of progress. Uh, where we're With this release, we're setting up a lot of the basics for the, for the Republican CIS factions, uh, a lot of basic storylines, Galactic Conquests, uh, balancing, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and making kind of a, a foundation we can build a lot more on top of. Uh, so what you're going to see today is we're going to play some skirmish. Uh, you're going to see some early, uh, early versions of what we've got going on here. <laughs> in uh, progress, yes. not released yet, still yes. big work done. So Alpha, beta, all those usual disclaimers that there is going to be unfinished stuff, but hopefully it'll give you guys a decent idea of what direction the mod's going in, what you can expect when the mod is out. Cool, 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 cool. Let me get into multiplayer, see what I see here. Um, you hosting already? Uh, lobby's up. Lobby is up, there you are. Awesome, jumping in now. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm excited. Another, uh, uh, this particular period, I think, works really well for the Empire at War, and since there are some some issues, we'll say, with other mods that are kind of in that same, uh, the same Clone Wars time period. Uh, I'm really happy that you guys, you know, the Thrawn's Revenge team is working on this. Uh, we played a little bit in space. Um, and yeah, like there's there's units in there that I didn't recognize. I can't wait to see what you got going on for ground. So we're going to do cop stop. So I should probably go Galactic Republic. Let me choose my team. And I'll go orange so we're kind of similar colored. All right. I'm just making sure we are going to be on a map that we can use. Okay. Should got a be... lot of custom maps for the mod. Uh, quite a few. We were going to be going through soon and actually cutting down uh, some of it just to make sure that we are keeping the good ones and then Rogue is going to work on a lot more new ones after that too. So there will always be oh, uh, new ones added, but let's see if this one works. I mean, there's a ton of, ton of episodes of the Clone Wars that you can like pull from too for fun maps. Oh, by the way... For everybody watching this, uh, I probably on your channel as well. Corey runs, uh, Corey loses. I'll put links in the description for his channel. Um, if you're not hearing Star Wars music, and you won't be because YouTube, so that's why copyright claiming and all that stuff. Yeah. So there is music in the game, we just have it turned off, so we're not dealing with any of that shenanigans. So, what do we got? Medium and an easy AI. All right, I'm completely new to this version, so uh, whatever you think is appropriate for the difficulty. All right, I am just trying to make sure we'll get a map that we can actually use. I think this should work. Okay. Uh, but I would put a collection of other space maps in that uh, I knew we'd use for space skirmish, and apparently that has made the default should ground map not work. Should I be able to work. see the map like, no. in the preview window? No. Because I can't see it. Okay, I'm going to ready that's, up. That's expected. Hopefully right. this works. As long as that's what you, that was expected, then. Yeah. You have connected. Hey, I'm loading. Okay, cool. I was afraid it would say that you had to download the map. All right. Nope, we're good. We're good. So, reinforcements canceled. We share a base. What what planet is this? Oh, this Rinvar. is Rinvar. And Rogue actually modeled this map kind of after the Battlefront 1 map. Uh, oh, cool. So there should be some somewhat familiar sites there. It's fairly uh, open for a skirmish map. Check out my clones. All right, nice. Oh, uh, God, what am I doing here? Let me click all the buildings, see all of the things. That's what I'm doing. All right, there's our tech up. There's some light vehicles. Get us some turrets going. Vehicle in production. Do we not have, or do heavy... Advanced vehicle factories not exist. No, they do exist in Skirmish. So I'm not sure if we'll have everything here. We should. But um, I don't play land Skirmish that much. Ready 
to That's go. kind of the thing that people normally avoid. Oh, let me get my troops together. Well, I'm going to be playing a lot to work on mechanics in the future, but uh, yeah. right now it, it is where I do some of the ground testing. But uh, well, the heavy factory's right here on the right hand yeah, the, side. I mean the uh, advanced, but I'm not sure if that's ever in skirmish. Oh, we got to pick up the mines too. You already on the way up there to? Uh, yeah, I've got some some okay. pony boys heading up there. All right, I'm gonna head south and try to get the mine farthest to the south so we can get some extra extra income coming in. Judge. Yeah, so there's a, a still a good amount of placeholders because this is we also have a post endor mod which uh, it's called Imperial Civil War, and we sort of build them both in the same folder structure because then we only have to make broader mechanical changes once. Uh, so right now there's like a lot of assets that are shared between that they that won't be later on. Like if you look at the icon to tech up, it's the Imperial icon. That kind of thing is what we're in the process of changing. Where's uh, our barracks? That is a good question. We don't have one. We don't have a barracks? Oh no. <laughs> this is, don't lose those infantry we've got as mine are marching out of the base to go capture mine. Well, if they die, they end up back in our reinforcement pool. So that'll be fine. We get them back for free. Okay, we get them back for free. It looks like we actually control the mining site too. Right here, we just like, kind of start with control of it. Or you've walked close enough. I'm building it now. Yeah, this is where you should next. I'm almost to the mine. Oh, these are wall segments. Okay. Interesting. Vehicle in production. Made it down here. I'll pick up a. Uh, I'm gonna grab level two. Is the sensor range for the sensor upgrade? Is it vanilla around vanilla scale for it? Um, is it worth uh, like how how sensor nodes? Is it worth building those? Sensor nodes are fairly long range, so they're usually worth picking up. They're what I do with most of my build paths. I've got some firefights going on with some battle droids down here. Yeah, I'm so close to you, I might as well just walk up there and give you a hand, so my little battalion's on the way. Sturdy. Uh, I noticed there's one unit that's all by himself. Oh, because he's a lieutenant. Nice. What's yeah, he gives a little bit of a combat bonus, and eventually they're all gonna. Have, there's going to be a bit more of a mix of armaments. Like you'll see right now there's two clones, I think, who don't look like they're holding anything. They're actually holding rocket launchers. So. Ah, <laughs> there's a, I'm assuming. All right, guys, hold position here. Oh, We're this is a lot of droids. That is a lot of droids. We have made mistakes. Uh, Get oh, absolutely clanked. We, we need to capture that reinforcement point behind us if we're going to have a chance of winning this. I can bring in armor. Yeah. Oh, uh, man. Now, what stat-wise, B1s versus your starting clones. Like B1s are basically garbage, but there's a lot of garbage we have to shoot at right now. Yeah. All right, I'm sending a squad to go capture the reinforcement point so I can bring in some armor. We are completely surrounded. That is epic. Crap it. We should have grabbed it on the way down. What was I thinking? I'm glad that you're on the ball with the upgrades, by the way, because I'm totally just, like, staring at the battle. <laughs> so. um, I like that you've got uh, armor that's kind of delaying them. That's good. So a lot of the ground skirmish maps we have are less tested, as you can see from the lack of a barracks, where we're usually using the base game ones, uh, just we can't use that right now. So reinforcements are on the way. They can just hold out a little bit longer. I'm down to four squads left. So I get these clones back, this initial group. Yeah, they should end up back in your reinforcement pool if they die. Okay. It's all oh, company dies, though. You've got the, um, I forgot what these transports are called, the really bizarre um, tall ones. The, the ATPTs over here? No, 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 the drop transports that actually. Oh, yeah, the, the CR20s. The yeah. CR20s, that's what they are. We um, tried to get one transport per faction done for the first version, because uh, that's the kind of thing that uh, we can do more of later. It's not really a core part of the faction. Uh, so for the Republic, it's going to be those. For the CIS, we're going to try to get the hard cells done. Uh, we do have the, like, the episode one. C9979 landers done, yeah. but they're quite large, so they're not really something you want to use for landing everything. It we looks like we've killed leaders. a lot of the droids. Yeah, I mean, my whole squad's dead, but a lot of the droids are dead. I brought in some artillery. We've got AT, uh, is AT DPs, is that there? AT APs. Yeah, those are a really good anti vehicle. Well, we're going to have a lot of vehicles. No infantry. 
Oh man, so how do I get those clones that I lost? Where will they come out? Will they just come out of my- They should just be in the reinforcement pool, like the normal drop down thing, once they all die. Because usually the game gives them back, but the whole company- I have one I squad survived. that survived. Oh, you guys weren't supposed to survive. Well, send them in. Yep, they're going in. They're going to execution time all by themselves. They've, they've got this. Watch them actually survive, too. All right, that let me would just be too bad. Up there with you, my ATAPs, so they can get some fire support to our tons of swamp speeders. Unfortunately uh, for us, a lot fewer of the Republic yeah, units are implemented to skirmish than CIS ones. But I think we still got this. We got ATTE, so what else do you need? Yeah, right? You want to grab this? So we can bring our reinforcements up closer. Yeah, I'll send some guys down there. Uh, oh, we got the upgrade. So what do we what do we got for? Oh yes, all terrain tactical enforcer. ATT. I need that in my life. That's very. Yeah. So uh, all the Republic ground vehicles are actually done except for the the Bark Speeder. Uh, all the CIS units are actually done for the first version. Uh, we're basically working on the core iconic units for them and the ones that fill the individual roles. So there's a bunch more than you see in this skirmish match right now that are in for the Republic. It's just they're in Galactic Conquest right now and not uh, not, not skirmish yet. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, and then we are we're moving to a new release model with both Imperial Civil War and then once Fall of the Republic's first version is out, Fall of the Republic as well, where every few weeks or uh, ideally at least once a month we'll be putting out a new patch with uh, updates, uh, with updated models, with new units so we're going to continue to flesh out from there, moving to more of the common nowadays live game updating that people do. I am totally dropping the freaking ATTs in. They are amazing. I love these things. And you've got them animated. Yeah, the, the walk speed is not fully synced up to the animations yet. They're, they do look like they slide a bit, but that is yeah, just they're, something they're that'll take some... They're doing the ice some... skating thing just a little yeah. bit. Uh, I sent those clones in, so I should have another squad. We can't go in without, like, a platoon of clone troopers. Should show back up for you. Otherwise, we're in trouble. They're all dead. Uh, they are definitely all dead. They just select all. I haven't seen anything cop pop in just yet. Well, we do we're you go in? We've got plenty of ATTs. Uh... Nope, there they go. Reinforcement available. It just popped. So bringing them in. And okay, I should probably do the same thing. Platoons. We get two platoons. Yeah, if we move in, we should go in with both squads. Uh, but here comes a wave. I don't know if you want to pull those that armor back. Yeah. And let the, the clones yeah, Actually, you know what? Step on him. Can you squish him? These guys can. Get him. I think. No, yeah, you run over a few of them. There goes half a squad of B1s. Oh, poor B1s. <laughs> you poor B1s. They shouldn't actually try to run away. That's actually a, a faction trait that... They never run away? They are picking up from the from the rebels. So I'll just need to disable that. That's something that needs to change. B1 should not have this much self-preservation going on. <laughs> not him. Oh, bad. We were talking earlier about tabletop RPGs, and my players convinced a group of B1s to surrender, so now they have like 14 B1s aboard one of their ships that like does maintenance and stuff for them, but they're really terrible at it. <laughs> uh, B1s are a blast, especially as a GM, because you can just, they tried to escape once, but they all have like a one in intelligence, so they couldn't figure out how to open the door to the escape pods. <laughs> The blast. Uh, did you get your clones yet? I saw the drop troop drop ship coming in. Uh, uh no, I've still got two. Both like of my lieutenants are actually back at the base. Oh, so many B ones. My frame rate is like. Mm -mm. There we go. That's down. Yeah. Okay, all of you artillery units, hold your position and put fire down. There we go. It's looking they like it's they... possible they only have a barracks on this map. Yeah, they may only have infantry. I don't think we've seen... Yeah, we haven't seen any armor. It's only been B1s this entire time. I guess I could build some units. I've got like 25,000 credits, but since the enemy's only sending... kind of 
crap at me. Um, I will pick up vehicle in production. The uh, the swamp speeders are actually really good against infantry. So that All might right, be bombing run is inbound. Oh, are they BTLs? Is it in yet? No, we have tie bombers for that right now. Okay, still, still tie bombers. Okay. They will be either BTLs or oh, I can't remember. I think there will be one for Arc 170s, but they won't be the primary one. There will be there will be the planetary bombers. Look at this! Are... Look at this! Ah! Oh, get wrecked! That was perfect. Frame rates back. Yep, frame rates back. That's a lot of dead B1s. Well, if that's the only thing they can build, there must be there must be hundreds of them. Like the corpses. Well, the individual companies of them are actually quite large too. So for for clones, at least here we've gotten platoons. They get full companies. Yeah, they get a. I, th I think it's close to a hundred per drop. I'm going to grab another bombing run, just in case they decide to to swarm us. Now the AT I, the, the ATTEs. Are you gonna make those any kind of like uh, infantry carrier, or are they basically kind of what you what you've got set here? Yeah. Uh, I don't know that we'll give them the ability to transport troops. Maybe like one squad. Are there but... any troop transports in the base game? In the conquest mode? Uh, yeah. So there's uh, juggernauts. We'll be able to do it a bit. Uh, they're one of the units that we might add uh, in the next one of the next versions is the ATOT, um, which is like the ATT. That's just a, a giant transport open top thing. Uh, I think you see it in the movies on Felucia. And you can yeah, also we'll like move stuff around. Minute. Yeah, you can see st you can move stuff around in lats as well. Uh, uh, they got turbo lasers. We're getting kind of stomped over here. Yeah, so we'll need those ATAPs after all. Yeah, we're gonna need to push this through if we're gonna break this. Unit in production. Uh, I'm gonna move this one up too. The other one is in the shield level, so we're gonna have to. Push through that. Yeah, there's I gonna be a lot of right dead now. dead clones. Yeah, this is gonna be one of those. One of those episodes of the Clone Wars. They do have battle droids on the way out. And they have some rebel soldiers, apparently. Uh, do they? Oh, no, those are B2s. They yeah, just look like be, hoods for some reason. Yeah, they got I don't know why I thought... Ooh, ooh, uh, this. Here, here, here. We gotta kill this. We gotta kill this. Shield generator. Oh, I didn't even see that in the corner. You're right. All right. Redirecting all of the heavy fire. That should definitely not be there, because that is very easy to take out. Also bringing in a bombardment from the Venators in orbit. That should give us a little bit of breathing room. Oh, I like it. Get wrecked. Definitely one of the cooler scenes in Rebels we're getting to see a Imperial, like, bombardment on a shield. Hmm. If, I don't know if you, if you remember that episode. But, like, seeing that from inside the shield, like... They're clearly they cheating, and they have uh, a barracks, which is not allowed. And they're using lambdas, which is also cheating. How dare you guys? That is way too advanced technology for us right now. Yeah, what We're the Like hell 20 is years this? in the future. <laughs> Are you going to add in those, um, I forgot what they're called, the giant drop ships? The, uh, uh, the episode one ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those are in... Ones. Uh, they're actually, we use them as, uh, carry, the carrier variant in space right now. Uh, but we may use them for dropping stuff, but they're huge. They have some anachronistic heroes going on right now, too. Is there any plan, I'm, because of where your mods are kind of sitting, um, to, to do, like, a tech run through Clone Wars to Thrawn's Revenge? No, because like that or? would there would be too much going on there. Where uh, by the time you get through the era, you basically won, right? So like when you're fighting the CIS as the Republic, and then you transfer to the Empire, you've basically taken over the whole galaxy. So then you may as well have it in a different map, uh, yeah. because at that, that point sense. you then may as well have it in a different mod because there are faction limitations and other hardcore yeah, limitations that just make it cleaner to put into stolen, everything. Has stolen one of my rides. He's paying for it. <laughs> and now we see I'm focusing everything. No, 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 no. Don't, Don't get back one. in one. Ah, all right, focus on him. Uh, I'm bringing in my clones. Actually, I'm not real captain because I brought in some, uh, some monsters here. Heading out. Oh, they got they got the spider droids, Heading the homing out. spider droids. The OG9s. 
We didn't take the Turbulence Tower out? Crap. Sorry, that was my bad. No wonder we're getting wrecked. I will uh, have all of the ACTs take that out. Focus your fire. And they're rebuilding the shield generator. That's not good. Are we losing? We're, well, we're in their base, so if we're losing, we're doing a bad job at it. Yeah, we haven't been able to push past. Okay, I did get the uh, turbolizer, so let me refocus my fire on the bigger, bigger targets here. You guys keep working on the infantry. Oh, shit. Well, switch and fire over to the shield generator. Uh, we're all stunned by Han right now. Crap. We've got to kill those guys. All right, we're, we're unstunned. Yep, taking out the shield generator now. Shouldn't take them too many shots. And then I'll get those reinforcements up here as quickly as I can. I'm gonna start building units again, because I stopped. Oh, yeah, I thought we had it, and then Chewbacca happened. So, I'm curious, because you said you're still working on the heroes, obviously, with Chewbacca. Uh, I thought, I guess he would be alive during this time period. Are we gonna have a Chewbacca hero? Uh, maybe if you're on Kashyyyk, there'll be a Chewbacca native hero. But... That not as a sense. major Why hero. would you have them running around, like, the galaxy? Fighting yeah. The that doesn't make... I haven't seen that coming. At this point, the Can only you... hero we're actually not done for the first release is uh, Kalani, one of the droid commanders. Uh, the other droid... Or the other heroes are all uh, done and mostly in-game. We've got to export Shock-T and Anakin's models, but Do everything else is Ventrance? in. Yeah, Ventrance is in. Uh, Ventrance and Dooku actually need to be coded. But everyone else is coded, or they're like, we're in the last phases for that. It's just they're not in skirmish yet. Man, we need the clones up here. So bad. Uh, heavy armor is getting wrecked. Cool. The reason I ask, Tabby is a huge fan of Ventress. Hmm. I think that's one of her favorite characters. I don't know if I could bait her into playing Empire War for the first time. <laughs> with the fact that it's in. She was describing a new character for Tabletop if we ever started another campaign. And I was like, so... Ventress. I'm not saying that sounds like Ventress. That sounds like Ventress. <laughs> You're not fooling anybody. Oh, crap. Uh, they have Magnoctotars in the end of it. They have four of them. Oh, come on. We got to take out those buildings. I'm losing ATTEs like they're going out of style back here. Oh, I just lost one to Chewbacca. Damn it, Chewbacca. Come on. Whose side are you on? Yeah, how dare you? Yeah, seriously, why are you... Mm, mm -mm. All right, I'm gonna bring in some... All right, we got clones in the base. I'm gonna move around to the left here. Okay. Uh, I've got Orbital Strike soon. Trademark coming soon. So hopefully I can clear us a path and we can push in. My clones have actually managed to make some work happen. You guys take cover. Uh, oh. I'm gonna take out their turret, and then I'm gonna focus on the building, I guess? I don't even know, man. The shield is freaking back up again. I'm gonna keep these two ATAPs back here, handling that for us. Oh, we're... we're Those poor stopped. clones. AT -AT ready. My poor clones. It really is like an episode of The Clone Wars. Oh, those poor clones. I still have these two hanging back somewhere that need to die so I can get my clones back. This is a light factory. This is not useful. Oh, we may lose this. They're going to push forward, man. All right, I'll help you take that out. I'm bringing in reinforcements now. It's like constant drop ships back here. Okay, two more heavies coming in. Um, hey, where's our saber tanks? Uh, they are one of the units that is in-game, but not on the unit roster for skirmish yet. Ah, okay. Right on, right on. So we Looks like we just tanks. have those four. You said arcs are still on the way. Uh, the bikes. Yeah, there's uh, so there's the artillery piece from the Clone Wars TV show slash movie uh, with the four legs uh, that you see on Christophsis for the first time, I think. Oh, crap. Uh, yeah, we and they got, got the turret back. Uh, okay, so it's time for... And we're stunned. It's time to take out that... Take out the shield generator as best you can, and I'll bring in a orbital strike and a bombing run. And then we can push in hard. Shields down. And actually take it down. All right, shields down. So, strikes coming in on them. We can keep them busy. And then I just need sight on their building. So that'll give us a little bit of breathing room. As soon as that one's coming down, I'm calling in a... Yeah, we've got the, the saber tanks. We've got juggernauts. We've got the artillery pieces. We've got arc speeders coming. Uh, we got clones. I don't remember. Yeah, so there's all three types of juggernauts in uh, an Imperial Civil War, usually spread between different factions. 
but we've got the A A6 for sure, and I think A5 as well for Father Republic. I forget which are period appropriate. Whatever's period appropriate will be there. Uh, you've got pushing in, pushing in. the clones, you've got arcs, you got clone commandos. I'm just stunned. Ah, uh, you got the commandos. Are we talking like particular commando squads or like the... Uh, well, Delta Squad is commandos. a hero and then you can build generic uh, clone commando squads. All right, bombing run on the OG-9s. Hopefully that's enough to take them out. As long as the shield generator stays down. Uh, I'm no longer stunned, so I'm starting to push forward, trying to take out the factories. A little bit of a break. Come on, bombing run. Yeah. There we go. There's our, our moment to breathe. Time to push. Oh, I hear uh, yeah. Chewie taking someone out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Chewie. Yep, he took the one on the back. You sure. All right. Focusing on the heavy factory as soon as I can push back. Like the clones are rushing in. I'm getting bombing run over the bombardment, and I'm building more units. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I have my clones back for the first time in forever, too. Uh, got four squads alive. You guys focus on that. It's the scale of the battles in this time period. Uh, right. I haven't built anything. I'm out of everything. Yeah, yeah. Bombing run coming in on their last vehicle factory there. All right, I think that's going to end up doing it for them. Um, I don't have a lot left on the board, but it looks like a your bombing run. Yeah. They still got the tech factory, Kamare, and shield gen up. There's also an OG-9 up in the back where Chewie is just riding around in his brand new <laughs> 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 And they just brought in reinforcements, so um, they can't rebuild this stuff, can they? They can. Can't let we have to make sure that they They're not allowed. They don't. Oh, fast they brought in those three. It's just wrecking us. I got a little bit of it. I just came up. Get wrecked, Chewie! Sick of your crap and your OG9s. You're not oh, even supposed to be here. Up. They got the factory up. Oh, you got a whole platoon of uh, clones. Nice. Yeah, and then I got two ATTEs and an ATAP come in. Six uh, ATPTs. We got, we got people in yeah. business. We're, we're getting it done now. As long as we can rush another before they get too much going. My stuff is gone away. Um, oh, my clones died because I just been able to respawn them. Do you always have two platoons on skirmish, or is that just this map? Uh, that's standard skirmish, where you always have them as your starting forces and they stay around. Oh, okay. Oh, it's been a long okay, Han, time since I played standard. Han needs stunned, to die. Stunned your entire squad. <laughs> All right, I'm bringing up my people. I've got to... Actually, scratch that. Going for turbo lasers would have killed that since it's doing damage to us. Come on, come on, come on. Get up there, get up there, get up there. Get up there. The armor's on the way. What is doing this damage? What is doing this damage right now? Oh, they're pushing us back. This is not... No, no! If we didn't have... Is that legal? ...so many mines... That's all I can do. I need a lot of clowns. Hey, hey Han's dead. I've got a orbital bombardment and like now, but I want to be able to be in a position where I can get something with it. Yeah. I'm trying to push forward. They've got they're, they're stopping us with their bodies. They're imperial guarding us. Right. right. This should kill a lot of units and the light vehicle factory. They've got their whole base back. Ah oh, no. Ah, oh, we're so screwed. Destination set. We were in. We were in. And then they, had they dropped their last reinforcement unit in. And it was it was game over, man. All right, I have 10 pop cap. I'm just Down waiting to, to come in. I'm going to... Okay, bombing run is already on the order. Ordering up a bunch of stuff. Doing some upgrades for us. Because we do need every advantage we can get here. Um, okay, I'm totally stacked on stuff building. We might have... I hate to say this, but we might have to... Um, Get our get our troops together and make another push as one. Yeah, I'm gonna try to sit here, farther but... towards the back. We'll get 20 pop cap worth. Get mm -hmm. our orbital bombardments and bombing run built up, yeah, and just hold. absolutely and demolish yeah, them all at once. They just got turbo laser up, and I don't have the firepower to take it on. And now they've got crab droids in there. <laughs> and Chewie's back in an ATTE. Yeah. Natural habitat of the Wookiee. Yes. <laughs> it's 
cannon now. <laughs> oh, the prep droids, they're, um... What are they considered? Anti-vehicle or anti-infantry? Uh, anti-infantry. Yeah. Okay. That's what I think. They're very low-slung guns. We probably need to move them up a bit more. Uh, because they're... Not the best at targeting right now. Um, I, I, I feel like I've actually managed to make a little bit of progress here with these, um, Yeah. Uh, these AT-APs. And I'm actually taking out their light factory from here. He's attempting to. Yeah, AT-APs are really good long-range artillery. Almost, so... Yeah, yeah. Like a light artillery. Direct fire artillery. Yeah. More of a line of sight situation, yeah. whereas you the, don't, You uh, don't get the nice arc. Yeah. The AV-7 is their, uh, more long range. So, how are you? I got an orbital strike. Bombing run's about to be online. I got... I'm other way around for that. I've got a bombing run. No orbital strike yet. I'm at 70% for orbital bombardment. Gotcha. We got clones and ATTEs for days in the back you, here. You say that... I feel like they've for, always got us on For numbers. days. For days. Days like and days. I'm going for their barracks this time. Because screw their barracks. And as soon as they drop, I'm, I'm saving my stuff for that moment. Uh, I'm going for the heavy vehicle factory. On top of us. If I can just get this guy in range. Good job. You've made a sacrifice for the greater good of the Republic. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. Oh, and it's being lit up by, by turrets. What are you bringing in on that heavy factory? Right See it. And just there behind there, uh, right. the research lab is getting orbitally bombarded. All right, I like it. I'm gonna drop orbital bombardment. Ooh, what's that in the back? What is that? Command center. Going through the command center. Eat orbital. Get wrecked. Good stuff. Uh, I feel. Did we just win? I think we did. <laughs> All right. Oh, man, that was way harder than I had ever anticipated. <sighs> I was like, oh, it'll be easy. We'll check out some units, and then the fields of the ones. Ugh. We had a slightly bigger selection of units that we were supposed to have that would have gone probably yeah, a little bit we more. we had artillery and oh, sabers. Oh, my God. 276 <laughs> squads of battle droids. And what? there's, what, nine per squad? So... What is even this game? Okay. All right. It's 60 droidicas. That's almost 2,000 battle droids died in that battle. How do you say... How do you say... Uh, how do the droid, droidicas? Droidicas? I say droidica. I say droidica too. Okay. I had Angry Joe next to me saying uh, doidecas or something like that. Doideka. At the Battlefront 2 thing. And it was driving <laughs> me crazy. And I was like, either no, he, I'm he's saying wrong. it wrong forever or he is messing with me. And I never found out which. So it was like, was it Droidica or Droideca? Uh, okay, anyways. Yeah, man, holy crap, 276. Uh, are you going to add those other units into Skirmish? Yeah. Uh, okay. I thought they were already there, but I was wrong. So that is probably going to happen right after we finish recording here. <laughs> oh, cool, man. Well, hey, thank you so much for joining me. Um, we're probably going to do a, some more recordings, hopefully, today, if you're down. I want to play some sure. space and get back up into that. Um, but thanks for, for letting me get this early look at it. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing through, you know, uh, Galactic Conquest once you guys are at a point where you're ready to go ham with it. Um, yeah, I'm super thanks excited for having for this me. Spot. All right, guys. Glad you look forward to it. Check out his channel. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to keep up with this mod or or uh, Thrawn's Revenge and all the other mods that you're working on. And you actually do videos on other mods too that are in production right now, like checking them out and getting that perspective from a mod author, right? You still do that? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a uh, good portion of what I do because you know who who doesn't need more Empire or in their life is my position. Well, my girlfriend would debate you on that, <laughs> but all right. See you all in the next one. Later, everybody. Bye, everyone.